Hi folks and welcome to another episode of From the Cow Shed, the series where I talk about life, running an eBay business from a cow shed. Um, yeah, for those who are new to the channel, my name's Andrew, part-time eBay reseller, mental health advocate, man with a very full car. Uh, I'm about to take some stuff to the cow shed, some stock, I've been clearing my house. I figured it was about time to do an update on how things are with the cow shed. So yeah, I'm going to take this over give you a tour show you his base of operations and I'm going to do a little bit of sourcing as well because I had a hundred pound sale yesterday so there's a little bit of money in the uh, budget so I'm just gonna see if I can pick up a few items in a couple of my local honey holes um, I know that there's been some of the resellers in the area buying stuff recently though so there may not be a haul to show but if there is I'll show you okay folks I'm gonna drive over to the cow shed now so I'll see you in a bit bye for now Okay, so a quick transition. I'm now at the cow shed. Um, there was a massive storm last weekend. This is the first time I've been here since the storm. And there's another storm ongoing at the moment as well. So I have no idea what it's going to be like inside. But outside it looks okay. Uh, although, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to have a, a look inside. So, yeah. Let's see if the stock has survived the storm. See you soon. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured it would be like in here. We have had some water ingress from the storm. Um, this stuff's all safely boxed up anyway, so won't cause any issues to the stock, fortunately. But uh, it definitely means I'm committed to my uh, move. I'm moving out of here um, in a few weeks' time, I decide, when the tenancy comes up. Moving to a 40 foot shipping container, which means we've got to shift all of this stuff. Which is going to be ace so um yeah looking forward to that not but uh needs must i don't want to be somewhere that's wet and damp um because it'll just end up damaging the stock so i'm going to take what's in my car and bring it in here anyway i've got room to store it up there we've even got electricals in here so it's no it's no good for those um so yeah and then uh I'm probably going to write an email handing me notice, actually, I think, when I get home as well, because, uh, yeah, I can't uh, stop here any longer. Um, once the tenancy's up, I'm out of here. One more payment, job done. All right, folks, I'm going to empty the car. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so I'm going to go and do a bit of sourcing. Um, yeah, I've made the right decision to leave here. Um, it's a great space. It just gets too wet. Um, that's no good when you're trying to store stock. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, take all this stuff. Um, no, I'm not going to take any stuff. Uh, I'm going to work on uh, my plans for the move and uh, getting everything out of here and whatnot. Start looking around soon about hiring a van and everything because this is just too much for me to deal with in the, um, in the Land Rover. Look at my hair. My hair is crazy. Crazy hair. Okay, that's maybe slightly better. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and do a little bit of sourcing. I've got a garage at home that I might do a bit of clearing out in as well so that I can um, put some stuff in there. Uh, maybe the remaining 5% of stock I've got basically in my house I might put in there rather than bring here now. Um, seems a little pointless. Um, but yeah, let's go do a little bit of sourcing. Go visit a couple of my local uh, favorite places. See you in a bit folks, bye for now. And I still haven't pressed the stop button. I'm doing really well. I, like, I won't even edit this bit out. I like, do not do editing. So you will see me say this. Hello, I don't do editing. See you in a minute. Well, i uh, got nothing in the first sunny hole. Um, I had a couple of things I could have picked up, but I'm being a bit discerning, to be honest. Uh, second honey hole, again, a couple of things I could have picked up, but again, been really discerning. So I just grabbed three pieces of media for a pound, which um, I'll show to you later. Uh, I'm going to head into the town and um, got to get some backing tape. Uh, so I'll pop in a couple of charity shops while I'm there as well. So I'll see you in a bit, folks. Bye for now. Alrighty then. So I thought I'd finish up with the haul. Slim pickings, to be honest, but then I wasn't really looking to get much anyway. It's been a total of six pounds. Um, these three all come from Tip Shop, three for a pound. Um, 
this Command and Conquer first decade goes for about tenner. So that's you know my one pound investment back already. Um, that goes about uh, about four quid. Don't stay zero mix on PS1. And a Kinnico with Smash Court Tennis goes for about five on PS1. So for a pound, we've got 10, 14, 19 pounds worth of listed value. So happy enough with that. Also grab this style boutique for a pound. Uh, that goes for about six quid. So not huge profit, but I'll double my money on it after shipping and fees. Uh, grab these dominoes for a pound, um, just because they were a pound. They go for about a tenner. Um, so it's all right from a pound, really. And then the final item was this uh, lightweight penguin uh, men's jacket. Cost three pounds in Sea Rider. Should go for between fifteen to twenty. Well, all prices including shipping as well. So yeah, that's it. Small haul, only six quid spent. Um, but you know we're looking at you know let's just say fifteen twenty five. Um, plus nineteen, we're looking at nearly you know looking at over forty quid's worth of listed value from six pounds. So happy enough with that um and that's it folks um my next update from the cow shed might be a while it might even be moving but we shall see see you all soon folks anyway take care bye for now